Let's learn all about my new sweater pattern called the Contrast Blast Sweater. This new sweater pattern is knit with DK weight yarn, and it uses the same types of slip stitches as the Contrast Blast Shawl and the Contrast Blast Socks. These were the first surprise sock along pattern, and I love that graphic little zigzag because it's such an easy stitch to knit. It's a slip stitch, so you're working four rounds of each color, and you're just slipping two stitches, and you just shift that location of the slip stitches and it magically makes this zigzag motif. So if you can knit, then you can knit the sweater. It's just knit stitches and then you get the technique by not doing something. You just slip the stitches instead of knit them and you get that beautiful little subtle spiral here and you get that zigzag effect with two colors. So when you're picking out your colors, if you really want to see that graphic effect, you're going to need a dark color and a light color or maybe a neutral and a color pop would work really well. So you could do a bright orange with a neutral vanilla cream color. I chose our dark plum colorway called Corduroy. This is a really deep saturated plum wine color. And I put it with a light contrasting color called Sage. I really like that warm purple mix with the cool sagey green. So the main color, you'll need more skeins of that for the entire body of the sweater. So depending on your size, you might need five or six, maybe even seven skeins for the larger sizes. So check out the pattern and the yardage. There's nine total sizes and the main color is what you see the most of. That was that dark color for my sweater. And for all the sizes, you only need one skein of DK weight for that contrast stripe. You use a small amount of this yarn just for the yoke. So one skein is enough. I had some leftovers of this one skein. So if you wanted to put a little contrast color stripe or even stripe your cuff, you could put some extra little contrast color details to your sweater, or maybe just bind off the bottom of the sweater with your contrast color. That could be really fun. You should have plenty of yarn to customize, but main color, contrast color. Let's look at some other color combo possibilities with Westwool Tandem. We have over 50, we have over 50 colors. There's 52 shades in the Tandem range and it's a really squishy and bouncy DK weight wool. So if you go into the blue family, you could stick into one color family and choose the main color. It's what you're gonna see the most of. So I'd probably focus on your main color first do you want a light sweater? Do you want a really saturated, deep color sweater? This is our Enchanted colorway. And if you mix it with colors in the same family, then I would get something really, really light to get that graphic contrast blast stripe in the yoke. This is the Sea Mist colorway. So Enchanted and Sea Mist both have that dusty teal blue kind of tone to them. And they really complement those light cool tones. Enchanted in Sea Mist. If you want to go really bold, you could put the dark color with a completely different color. You could do like a red hot contrast color pop, or maybe go into a warm color family. I think that would be really beautiful, that glowing Dijon color. So just one skein for the contrast. If you're going with some pinks and purples, you could go with the Fandango. I think this would be an amazing main color for a sweater. It's really saturated, a really bright orchid purple, and with a dusty rose, the Rosvita colorway, Fandango and Rosvita, that could be nice. But yeah, which color do you wanna go for the main? I think if you want a mostly pink sweater, then this would be what you see for the entire sweater. And then if you just want a little pop, then you could go with that crazy color just for the contrast of the oak. But it depends on your personality, what you wanna see the most of. Another cool option I thought that would look good with Fandango is going really bright with the contrast using the Sherbert colorway. It's a really warm peachy tone, and I think that would just give you the most crisp clarity of those little slip stitch lines for the yoke. Just one, one skein for that contrast color. All right, let, let's look at some other fun combos. We've got Royal, my favorite blue. This I think would make a great main color. I just love this so much. So you could spice it up even more with our pickle juice as the contrast. You could flip flop it, but I think just seeing that royal blue for the main color, I think that would be the best. 
with that little pickle juice as a little spicy accent. Or you, you could go more neutral, letting that royal blue shine even more and not have it compete with another color pop, but just let that be the only color pop. And you could put it with pebble, the light gray, or even with that sea mist. Ooh, that would be nice, really cool for the contrast in the yolk. And then some other teal tones we have, our original Norway color, I think would look really good with glass for a high contrast yolk pop. And then the main color with Norway, or you could get playful and put it with the orange tangerine. That would be a nice combo. Or maybe even, I mean, you could go wild, <gasps> like a teal and a pink. This is the taffy colorway, but maybe I might do that taffy with corduroy. <gasps> that would be nice. Instead of the green, you could do a pink yolk pop. So there's lots of fun options. Get creative with your color pops with this sweater. If you have extras, definitely you could try to customize that little twisted rib cuff. You're gonna find some simple textures in this pattern. So it's knitted top down. So one of the very first things you do is the collar, the crisp folded rib, twisted hem. And then you're gonna start with the contrast color right away for the yoke. And that's one of the first things you do. So it's a really fun start to the sweater. And then the rest of the sweater, I usually do stockinette stitch for a lot of my sweaters, but I wanted a bit of texture. So this is a diagonal ribbed texture and it's just a really subtle, it's kind of like moss stitch, but rather than a staggered moss stitch, the knit and pearl lines flow at a diagonal. So I did that diagonal rib. It just gives you a little bit of an interest as you're knitting. It's still really simple, but those diagonal textures echo the diagonal flow of the zigzags and the yoke. And I just love that play of graphic contrast, the motif in the yoke with the texture in the sweater. Really subtle, and it finishes with a twisted rib cuff and twisted ribbing on the body. So make sure as you're knitting the top-down sweater that you try it on, making sure that it fits. It's sized in a way that if it feels like it's a little small, just keep on increasing and go up the next size in the pattern as you're knitting the yoke. And you can customize the yoke depth, customize the length of the sleeve, knit it as long as you want, and the final step is knitting the cuff. You could knit that extra long and you could fold your cuff if you wanted to, or you could make more of a cropped sleeve and have a shorter, more simple cropped style. So I hope you have fun with this new DK weight sweater. It's a, a sister pattern to that contrast blast shawl and the socks. So you could have a whole little head to toe outfit. I need to make a hat next maybe. So we've got our socks, our shawl, our sweater, all using that simple slip stitch. So I hope you love it and find a blast contrast color combo that you love. 